Alrighty, so I've been wearing Vibrams for forever and now I've got three pairs of them. I figure it's about time I do a review on them. So I'm going to start in order. These are the first pair I got. They're the Kit Komodo Sport or the KMD Sport. Um, these things have lasted forever. I've worn these for about six years non stop, like every day. Like these, these are the only shoes I wore. I had other shoes, but these are all I wore for like, yeah, pretty much six years, give or take a couple months. As you can see, they've been worn down. There's like no tread on them whatsoever. But the whole time, no holes. They didn't wear through. Um, before I ever got Vibrams, I used to wear Converse's. And I always used to get a hole right here in the back of the heel. Or wear through. You can see it wore through pretty thin. But still, no hole. No hole. Now it's getting close. Um, they're only like 4 or 6 millimeters thick to start with. Whatever it is. And yeah, I never wore through them, so pretty tough. Definitely worth it. Um, if you do the math with like compared to like Walmart, excuse me, Walmart shoes or whatever stuff most people wear, um, it's definitely worth the money. It ends up being cheaper in the long run and less wasteful, and you get cool ass toe, toe shoes. Um, they pack down pretty well, although these are kind of floppy from having worn them. Um, these work real good. They're real dirty. Um, I've worn them forever. There's a hole in each of the big toes and whatnot. Um, there's a little, uh, they've held up though. They've definitely been worth the money, no doubt. Um, after that, I got these. These were the, um, by Call Evo. And, uh, yeah, I got these hoping that they'd be waterproof. Um, and they are. They're definitely waterproof. Um, the only thing that I wanted them for winter, because these ones here, these suck for winter. Like, even though they're not designed for it, I would wear them. I like it wet, and your feet get real cold, so your trips in them got to be short. You, know, you got to be tough to deal with it for a little bit. So, I had these ones thinking waterproof would be a good idea for winter. Um, but they're not very insulative. Like I thought they'd be, since it said they're for cold weather, and an ice trick compound on the sole. Uh, I kind of thought they'd be more warmer than they are. Um, they, uh, they're more for like cold rainy weather than they are for like winter weather. They're not good in summer either, because they're all waterproof, so there's no, uh, ventilation really, so it gets real sweaty inside. Um, so I haven't worn these a whole lot, but they're, they're good shoes. They're definitely tough. Um, keep them packed up in my camping bag. These pack up pretty thin. About as thin as those ones. And, uh, yeah, I pack, I pack them away in my camping gear in case my shoes get wet and I need another pair that's dry. Or if I just want to put on a dry pair before they get wet. And, uh, yeah. The ice strip compound, it doesn't seem to be any better or worse than any other type of bottom. Um, yeah, so, um, with these ones, let's go back to these ones real quick. The thing that I didn't like, one thing I really didn't like is the heel, or the arch here. This thin foam rubber stuff. I don't, I don't know, it's kind of leathery. I have no idea what it is. But, uh, it wasn't very protective here. It ripped. It wasn't very protective when you stepped on rocks and whatnot. These were meant to be a running shoe. They worked out well, though, for everything, pretty much. Um, then I got these. These have a little bit of protection in the arch, which is good. I like that. Um, the ice check compound didn't really seem to be any better on ice though. These are my newest ones here. These are the Spiron On MR Elites. And, uh, yeah, these are my favorite of the three. And, uh, they're the newest. I've had them about two months. Um, I put a little bit of green paint on them here. They, uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to make it match my goggles. They come in yellow right there, but I put a little green over it. So it's a little more green than what you would get, but yeah, otherwise it's the same. Um, this one, they have a really good arch armor. I don't know if it's supposed to be called armor. I call it armor because it protects. It's uh, better than either of these two. Like this one has nothing, this one has some. And th this one's like real hard. Works real good for protecting your arch. I think it goes all the way through the sole. It feels kind of stiff, but if it doesn't, it's still alright because right there needed it. Um, the grip is real good. This is my favorite grip pattern out of the three that I've had. It's got a real good grip. Uh, that's the main reason I actually chose these shoes. Um, these two are nice and tall, high tops. This one's kind of short. Um, so these two keep stuff out a little better. Um, these ones were 
zippers, laces, and Velcro. These ones just Velcro. And these ones got zipper, I mean, uh, laces, Velcro, and the strap thing. The strap here is like a molded rubber. It's like kind of what they make logos and that they sew into clothes and uh, keychains and other things out of. Um, it's pretty tough stuff. I don't think it'll rip. Um, maybe over time UV damage, but Vibram's pretty smart, so I'm sure that they put some kind of protector in there um, to protect from UV. That'd be the biggest problem with that. But yeah, pretty tough stuff. Stretches just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, th these work out pretty well. Um, they all got pros and cons. These ones, uh, well, they got not a lot of tread, not only because they wore out, but because they, uh, they were running shoes to begin with. Um, they get wet really easy, but they also dry real fast. One thing I found a problem with all Vibrams is there's no toe protection on the top. You drop like a spoon on your foot and it hurts. Let well, alone if you drop anything or bang your foot or anything. You need some kind of top protector. Um, what I, what I think they should do with that is, I just ordered some of their Vibram's Ironclad gloves, and uh, I'm waiting for them to ship. I think they should do a top. So Vibram's, if you're listening, make like a hard top. That is the biggest downside of all Vibram's. Make a hard top like out of your gloves. And if you ever want someone to review them, I'm totally down to review a hard top Vibram's. Um, that's like the biggest flaw out of any Vibram's is the, the top. So, Vibram's. I say improve that in your shoes. I mean, they're already the best, but they'll be even better. Like, can't beat the best, and then you improve the best, no one's definitely going to beat that. So, yeah, they made a hard top on all of these, like like they do on the Ironclad clubs, which when I get, I'll leave a review of those as well. Um, yeah, so these would be the best ones to have the, the hard top on to if they did, because since these are so off-roady, Make them even more boot-like. I know they can't do a steel toe, that wouldn't really work, but if they, they put their glove top, their glove palm as a top, I would like that. Um, so yeah, Vibrams, I hope you're listening. And, uh, yeah, like these ones, these ones worked over good. They're, they're thicker material than any of these two. They're nice, like, cushioning material, so they do have a harder top to protect you more, but I still think that hard top would be nice. Um, these ones are the best for sure out of the three. I recommend all of them though, just depends on your usage. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure I left something out. This is the third time I've shot this video, one problem or another. Um, so I probably forgot something. If anyone has any questions, they can ask in the comments. Um, the most common question I get, like, in real life, whenever I see new people, they're like, Oh, are those things comfy? Are those things comfy? Oh, how are they? Are they comfy? I, can, I don't know about things between my toes. Is that comfy? The answer is yes. They are fucking comfy. Like, they're lightweight, all of them. They're all lightweight. They're, you know, they're, they're shaped like your foot. They're, you know, you can feel what you're stepping on. You're aware of your surroundings. You know, it just works out well in every way. Um... Like, I don't like things on my feet a lot of the times uh, when I sleep, and there's been multiple times I've fallen asleep in all three of these pairs of shoes. So, like, if I'm camping or whatever, I just lay down, take a little nap or whatever, I fall asleep in them. I, I can't sleep with other shoes. Not that I'd, like, spend the whole night in them, but, you know, they're, they're definitely comfy, for sure. Without a doubt, comfy. And then, are they worth the money? Yes. Um, I don't remember the exact prices. I think these were 110, 120, or 130 US dollars. Um, plus shipping, I think. Might have been free. Can't remember. But either way, all of these have been worth the money because they end up being cheaper than, you know, other shoes. They last a long time. You know, they may cost a lot up front, but over the six years that I've had these, I think these were 110, you know, Six years, that's less than 20 bucks. You know, 20 bucks a year, that's Walmart shoes, and it's way better than Walmart shoes. You don't waste all that material, you're not supporting stupid Walmart, you're supporting a company that makes quality product. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking into getting Vibrams in any way, I recommend them. No matter, can't speak for every pair since I haven't tried them, but if they these three pairs are representative of any of their other pairs, then they're totally worth the money, they're totally comfy, and you should get them. And yeah, I'll answer any questions that anybody has, so have a good one.